Hey guys, Shahan this side and today in short video, uh, I'll tell you my way of approaching the binary search question. So recently I've been practicing a lot of questions. So binary search is definitely one of the uh, important topic. So generally, as we all know that binary search, generally we are given certain range or generally you can say that an array one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And we have, we are also given some target, which we have to find, let's say five. Okay, so generally in binary search helps us to achieve the time complexity of big O of log n. How? By dividing instead of going one by one, right? And getting a time complexity O or big O of n, what we can do is we can divide the array and only look into one part of an array. Okay, so we can totally discard another side of the array. So with that being said, there are certain things in a question which I always see that first, do we have a range? We, ha we can have low and high value. Okay, some range. So within this only our answer can lie. That's what range means. Second thing is, do we have a condition? Okay, the condition on the range such that whenever any condition becomes true, one side we can properly discard or you can say that safely discard one side of an array or range and proceed over searching in another side of the range. If these two things satisfied, then definitely binary search can be applied on that. Okay, so in binary search, we have low, high, we have target and mid. So you know, right, this represent our range. Okay, this is something which we are searching for. Okay, or you can say that comparing whatever the uh, we are trying to find out. This is what we are trying to find out in this range. And this mid, mid is something like whatever the range you have, low, high, okay. So we first go with this mid value, we compare it with the target and based upon the condition, we discard either one side of an range, either this or this, okay. So one, two, three, four, this four things we required in the binary search. And it's a very, very important to safely use this condition, right? Because first thing, mid computation, mid computation. So sometimes we compute like high plus low divided by two. So generally we should avoid this. Why? Because of overflow problem. So you know that right in Java, uh, what is the maximum size of an integer? It's 2 raised to power 31 minus 1, right? Something. So now let's say that if it turns out to be uh, your, uh, let's say 2, 1, 4, 7, 4, 8, 3, 6, 4, 7, something like this. Okay. Now what if your high is also this? Your high is also 2 raised to power 31 minus 1 and also low is also 2 raised to power 31 minus 1. So if you do this, to compute a mid, it will become overflow. So it might goes into the negative and you, when you do divide by two, you will get wrong uh, value inside a mid. So that's why we have some, uh, this one mid computation save is like low plus high minus low divided by two. Also compute this formula uh, using this itself, right? So currently we have low we have high and somewhere mid lies in so what your mid gonna be low plus x right so now we can put this uh, so earlier our formula was mid equals to high plus low divided by 2 right so we can replace this mid with this we want something like which is low plus x equals to high plus low divided by 2 
so 2 goes here 2 low plus 2 x equals to high plus low 2 x equals to high plus low minus 2 low 2 x equals to high minus low and your x equals to high minus low divided by 2 so this is your x value so we can easily replace so what is your mid low plus x right so now you mid equals to low plus what x we computed is this high minus low divided by 2 high minus low divided by 2 so generally that's why uh, we can consider this uh, a mid computation is safe right so to avoid the overflow problem so that is one of the things while computation of the mid another things which i uh, generally considered while solving is uh, infinite looping we need to avoid this infinite looping generally my way is that always every iteration try to exclude mid value okay so every time we iterate this mid should be excluded okay but now let's say a scenario if we are not excluding mid what could have happened let's say how let's say you have two four my mid computation so if i am using mid here is that low plus high minus low divided by two okay so in this scenario this is uh, your low this is your high and in this case my mid comes this one so in this case generally this formula right uh, will give you the lower side in case of even you will get a lower side of the uh, lower side of the mid value so in case of 2 4 if this is your low this is your high you will get this 2 as a mid lower side and also there is one more formula low plus high minus low plus 1 divided by 2 generally this formula is to get a higher end of an even array so in case of 2 comma 4 if you apply this formula this is also correct but this will give you this upper end of a even array right so you will get 4 as a mid not 2 okay that's the only difference but both are right so now here if you see that if I am using this formula so first mid I would get is 2 so target target is 3 3 is greater than 2 yes I am increasing low equals to mid plus 1 so my low would increase to this properly working right and ultimately while loop get terminate but if this is my low this is a high and this is the mid possible right this can also be come at the mid also now in this case what would happen if target 3 is greater than mid value 4 is it greater than no so it goes to the else part what high i am selecting mid so high is still become this mid only so now here if you see that this condition will never get terminate so one of the safest way to avoid infinite looping is every iteration make sure that we exclude mid okay either mid can be your answer if no then exclude it okay never have the mid include in the next iteration it could lead to an infinite looping with that being said like i'll show you a sample question that this is one of the question in this case this is very easy this is easy level in this case we are given an input array 1356 and the target value is given also 2 okay and we have to return the index where this 2 is present and if it is not present we have to return the index where it should present so in this scenario 1356 2 is not there but it should present at this index 1 so that's why output is 1 okay so now here if you see this question has everything it has a proper range and in proper order like 1 3 5 6 proper it following a proper order sorted order and we it has a range we have low we have high in this only we have to look for we have target 
something we have to find within that range and also the condition let's say that if any of the condition so what is the condition here then matching exact matching so if the value 5 is matching or not if not matching then is it lying into which range if 5 is greater than 2 then I know that answer would lie into this range so I can discard other side of the range so that condition also I can build okay so this can easily be solved through binary search directly and I think uh, it's very simple like you can uh, check this one so every iteration I make sure that either I return the mid or for the next iteration I should not include mid okay just to avoid infinite looping in case so this is another example so here in this case I would always say that whatever the solution you have come up for the binary search always test in of an input size of 2 so that's where your uh, mid and the logic edge case can be caught okay so you can test this one now this if you see the another example this is medium now here if you see that you are given an input array 4 comma 3 comma 3 5 comma 2 comma 5 so these are nothing but a weight of container these are the weight of a container okay and you are given a day equals to 4 so in 4 days you have to take out all this container okay from the ship you have to deliver this containers from the ship but what we have to uh, come up with the size or you can say that the capacity of the ship what should be the minimum capacity of the ship so that it can deliver all the container in this number of days okay so now here if you see that output is 7 so means day 4 day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 so if I have the minimum capacity of the ship is 7 then I can properly deliver in the day 4 days this one so for end of day 1 I can do 4 plus 3 7 and the container always goes in sequence that's also given in the question so second day only 3 because if I do 3 plus 5 it become 8 which is the uh, more than the container so I can't do that so only 3 will go on the second day day 3 5 plus 2 7 and day 4 only 5 so here if you see that uh, in 4 days which is given I can properly deliver all the container and the minimum size which I need is 7 first thing can it be solved through binary search how do we know we first need to look for range it does range present but if you see by looking at the array it's not in some monotonic form means ascending or descending it's not in order 433525 so does range present so now if you see the question we can see that from our analysis what we have to find out that does range exist so what is the use case use case is that what is the minimum and maximum size of a ship capacity what if i told you that in one day only one container i can load okay one container this is the minimum i can load right capacity of the ship one container one day so your capacity should be sufficient enough to hold at least one container so maximum what should be the maximum whatever is the maximum container your sh minimum ship capacity at least that one so in that case 5 this is my minimum ship capacity in what what is the maximum uh, ship capacity can be so this use case would be like in one day all container if I have to take then 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 this should be my maximum size of the ship okay so here in this this is my approach like minimum 
capacity if it has to carry one container per day or this is my maximum worst scenario where my ship capacity maximum can be this only okay where in the single day itself i have to carry the all the container so now here if you see that i found something range that this is my minimum and this is my maximum my answer cannot be outside of this one so one thing i find out properly now second thing is condition does condition exist so that if condition of some well is satisfied then i can discard one side of the range so now here if you see that let's say between this 5 and 22 if i pick let's say 10 if i pick 10 so this is my ship capacity hey is if if i keep my ship capacity 10 is it sufficient that it will deliver the all the container in four days then i will check yes definitely let's say that it can complete within four days right so let's say four plus three plus three in the day one itself it can do this one and in day two five plus two day three five so now here if you see in less than the required days itself so required days was four in less than four days itself i am able to properly deliver okay so now i know that if i am able to deliver in 10 days definitely i would be able to do in 11 12 13 14 so i can safely reject this side of an range now i can focus on from 5 to 9 10 i know that it could be my answer now in 5 to 9 i can see that hey is there any more uh, ship capacity less ship capacity which can fulfill this so now let's say if i go and uh, find out seven now you know that from seven we also able to do this and this is less than this so yes seven can be my now possible answer so now if i am able to do with seven i know that i can be able to do it with eight and nine so i can discard this so i can again test with five to six can i do that no now you can't do that so you know that this is your answer so what i'm trying to say that even though the input array which is given it's not in a sorted or range is properly there but in a question if we are able to find out from something else like have a range and we are doing certain comparison on this range itself then binary search can be used so that's where what i used here okay guys thank you bye